I've always loved a variety of different aesthetics and I've never been able to attribute my style to only one. So this video is going to have a whole bunch of different aesthetics that I actually enjoy wearing. And we're starting off with a 60s inspired outfit. 60s have a lot of voluminous dresses and those dresses are often paired with more opaque tights. So this is pretty much what I'm doing in this look. This is actually a silhouette that I think works with just about any body type and you can style it in a more feminine way like I'm doing here or you can add some grungier lace tights and maybe a leather jacket and make it a little bit more edgy. And if you're going for a 60s inspired look like I did here, you can add a petticoat underneath to really make the dress flare out, but I decided to forgo that this time because I'm not really a big fan of the petticoat look most of the time. I'm only in the mood for it on rare occasions and today wasn't that day, so here it is. A 60s inspired look with a little bit less drama. Next up we have a light academia outfit and the light and dark academia aesthetic is actually one that I've been getting into a lot more lately and I've been seeing it around a lot so that kind of inspired me to try it out and I have been loving it. I think it can be a lot of fun and there are a lot of ways that you can wear this aesthetic. For example, you can go with something plaid. Plaid is always a great option when it comes to both light and dark. Academia, it's pretty much a staple. Here I went for a plaid skirt and to kind of top off the academia aesthetic, I also added a hat, which I think works very well with this kind of outfit. If you're going for a dark academia look, you could always switch out the color scheme for a darker one. But since this is a light academia outfit, I decided to finish things off with a light top, tights and shoes. The cottage core aesthetic is actually another one that I've been playing around with lately, and this outfit is one of the results. The cottage core aesthetic has a lot of kind of flowier dresses paired with more cottage inspired elements like a straw hat, and this is pretty much what I'm wearing here. So I just went with a nice flowy dress and I added a wide brimmed straw hat as something that you might wear outdoors. There's a bit of a contradiction in this outfit and in the aesthetic in general, but I really like that. And and I really like to pair elements together that you might not necessarily expect to see together, so this aesthetic is kind of right up my alley in that sense. Next up we have Dark Academia, and here's that plaid again that I talked about for Light Academia, except this time it's a darker version and in skirt form again, but a longer version. Not that a short plaid skirt wouldn't be just as appropriate for a Dark Academia outfit as a long version, but I just wanted to go for a long version here. And the rest of the outfit is pretty much black, as is appropriate for the darker color scheme of Dark Academia, although you could always go for a darker green, navy or even a red. Next up we have a 70s inspired outfit and I actually have an entire lookbook dedicated to this aesthetic so you know that I like it. Anyways, here I'm wearing a pair of flared brown velvet pants because, well, they just scream 70s to me. And I paired them with black pieces, including this floral black top and a pair of black shoes. I feel like a pair of flared pants like this, especially in a warm color like brown, is such a 70s item that you could almost wear anything on top and have it be a 70s inspired outfit, but I think that something more feminine and flowy works the best, as well as maybe a graphic tee or a band tee, which would be very appropriate for the 70s aesthetic. Very similar to the 70s aesthetic, we have the beachy aesthetic, and this is pretty much characterized by very loose, flowy, comfortable, going to the beach kind of outfits. And my version of that is usually a maxi dress, because I can consider maxi dresses just incredibly comfortable and very very easy to style because they are pretty much a complete outfit and all you need to do is add shoes. Although in this case I also added a fun belt just to spice the outfit up a little bit, but that is completely optional. And of course they're also great for hiding your bathing suit. And I've even had to kind of change into my bathing suit under my dress on occasion and a maxi dress provides a lot of coverage for you to be able to do that, so they're great in all ways for a beachy aesthetic that is, and generally for a nice comfortable summer outfit. The pastel aesthetic is pretty much what it sounds like and just involves a whole bunch of pastel colors, and here I'm channeling that aesthetic with my lilac pants and light blue top. I also added a pair of white shoes because I couldn't find any of my pastel 
pastel colored ones, but I think that a pair of white shoes actually works really well with this aesthetic, just because white is a great neutral and it's very very light, so it's not really going to kind of take away from the whole pastel look. Also, the great thing about the pastel aesthetic is that you can pretty much wear any pastel colors together and they're guaranteed to look at least, well, decent, if not good. I know some people don't like the whole colorful pastel outfit look, but I really enjoy it and you can't really go wrong with pairing two pastel colors together no matter what they are, so it's a pretty easy aesthetic to kind of jump into. Next up we have a bohemian inspired outfit and this is actually one of my favorite aesthetics and I've been wearing bohemian inspired outfits for a very very long time. And in this case, I decided to go with a pair of flared corduroy pink pants, very similar to my 70s outfit actually, and a very flowy top that is a little, well, okay, who am I kidding? It's not a little, it's fully sheer, so I really wanted to wear a very non-sheer bralette under that to kind of give myself the coverage, and here you can, well, see that in my outfit. Clearly, I am the very spirit of eloquence in this voiceover. Anyways, the bohemian aesthetic involves a lot of the same items that the 70s aesthetic does, including flared pants and flowy tops. And last, but hopefully not least, we have a 90s inspired outfit, which is another aesthetic that is very near and dear to my heart. And this aesthetic involves a lot of things like tie-dye, hence the skirt that I'm wearing, tights, hence, well, the tights, but this aesthetic can involve sheer tights, lace tights, ripped tights, and any matter of tights you can think of, combat boots, and graphic tees, both of which I also decided to add to this outfit. But other popular items involve jeans, leather jackets, plaid shirts, and a whole wide variety of other pieces, most of which are great elements of casual outfits, which is what the 90s aesthetic is very much about. There are a few dressier elements as well that you can add into your looks, but a lot of the 90s outfits were more on the casual side. And we are done! Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!